Welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, we're going to talk about five things you should know about the Zoom R20. For those unfamiliar with the Zoom R20, the unit is a 16 track MTR, that is, multi track recorder, editor, and mixing workstation. Zoom was the first brand to introduce an LCD color touchscreen user interface for navigation on a hardware digital multi track recorder. Now, based on your personal perspective and production workflow, this can either be an attractive or an unattractive feature of the unit. This is because we know that some folks prefer to work with knobs, sliders, and buttons as opposed to a touchscreen or a mouse, for example. And I happen to be one of those people. Another popular feature of the Zoom R20 is its internal synthesizer. The synth can be triggered or controlled by connecting a USB MIDI keyboard and playing the notes in real time or by using the piano roll feature on the touch screen. However, there are many other notable features that are often overlooked that shouldn't be and that's the primary focus of this presentation. On previous presentations on this channel, I've done overviews of the primary features of the R20. So please check out those videos after this one for more detailed information on the Zoom R20. With this, let's jump right in and get started and review the five things about the Zoom R20 everyone should know. Number one, R20 can be used as a control surface for compatible digital audio workstation software applications. Now this is important. This specific feature is only available with Zoom R20 firmware version 2.0 and later. If you have a firmware version that's before that, this feature will not be there. It won't work. It won't exist. So if you have a lower firmware version updated to firmware version 2.0 or later, and then you will have this feature and it should work for you. Now on the R20 in audio interface mode, users can then operate buttons and faders on the unit to control transporting or mixing on a compatible software DAW application. To do this, configure the R20 in the following way. Number one, Set audio interface to multi-track and connect the R20 to your PC via USB. Tab the COG icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen and the audio IF settings screen appears. On that screen, tap the DAW control section and then select the on setting. Now keep in mind, the R20's control surface is Mackie control compliant. So on your compatible DAW settings menu, users must add Mackie control in the device section and then select Zoom R20. So in order to do this correctly, see your DAW user's manual for details regarding configuration and setup. Once your DAW is properly configured, each hardware button and fader on the R20 and buttons on the touch screen can control features of the DAW. At the time of this presentation, as per Zoom Corporation, R20 is compatible with the following operating systems on your screen. Number two, R20 has remote control functionality using some iOS devices. The R20 does not have a port on the unit to allow users to input a foot pedal for remote control. Remote controlling the unit is done differently. Remote control functionality is achieved by connecting a BTA1 adapter or another Zoom designated wireless adapter to the R20. The BTA is a Bluetooth adapter that retails new for around $40. The range of the BTA1 is effectively 33 feet unobstructed. Users must first connect the BTA1 to the remote input on the side of the R20. After installing the wireless adapter, users must download the free iOS R20 Connect app and install that software on their compatible 
iOS device. With a BTA1 adapter connected and the related R20 iOS controller app installed, the iOS device can then be used to operate the R20 remotely and wirelessly via Bluetooth. The R20 control app is also reported to feature voiceover and voiceover gestures that allow accessibility for the visually impaired. No other hardware multi-track unit currently on the market has this feature. However, at the time of this presentation, I was unable to find the R20 control app for download uh, in Apple's App Store. An app exists there for the Zoom L20, but not yet for the R20 specifically at this time. Now this is a significant issue and hopefully Zoom will make this software available very soon uh, as its functionality has been a part of the product's marketing since its initial release. Also at the time of this presentation, Android based devices are not supported. Number three, R20 has MIDI functionality. This is a question that I often get about this unit. So let's take a look at what MIDI functionality means on the Zoom R20. We know that R20 has a built-in synthesizer. Now with this, a keyboard is not the only MIDI device that you can use to trigger and record R20 synthesizer sounds. Users can also connect any MIDI enabled device that can send note data using a USB-C type cable. The USB type C port on the R20 also supplies power and there are no five pin DIN MIDI in and out ports on the R20. With this R20 users can import and play SMF or standard MIDI files. This is pretty cool. This allows users to implement previously recorded MIDI tracks and choose sounds that they want for those specific tracks in their productions. It's pretty flexible. Now for details on R20's MIDI implementation, watch my presentation, Zoom R20 multi-track recorder, MIDI implementation explained on this channel. Number four. R20 allows users to add new and update existing effects on the unit. Users must connect the R20 to their PCs using a USB Type-C cable to update and or replace effects that are available online as well as editing and backing up patches. This is done using the Guitar Lab software application that must be installed on a PC. The Guitar Lab software has different versions that are compatible with both Windows and Mac. Users must first download Guitar Lab from the Zoom website in the R20 software support section. Once R20 is connected to a PC and Guitar Lab software is downloaded and installed, users must then configure R20 to communicate with Guitar Lab. To do this on the R20 in the project screen, tap the cog icon. The system screen appears. Tap the Guitar Lab section. The Guitar Lab screen appears. Now, start the Guitar Lab software application on your PC. To use the effects in the Guitar Lab software application, press the REC button on the R20 to select the track to use the effects on. That's it. Number five, let's talk about R20 additional functionality that's worthy of note. In R20, data from a single recording is managed in units called regions. Now that is for each track. Regions for audio recordings and rhythms are shown in R20 as waveforms. Synthesizer regions are shown as performance data or MIDI notes. Let's talk about the wave editor functionality. Waveform editing functions can be used in audio and rhythm regions. The R20 has a time stretch function that allows the length of regions to be changed without changing the pitch. I think that's pretty cool. Next, 
R20 also has a stereo link functionality, or should I, I don't even know if it's functionality, it's just kind of part of the uh, features. Now, what this means that is stereo link is that adjacent, even, and odd number tracks can be handled as stereo tracks. Let's move on to the convert to audio function. All regions on a track can be converted to a single audio file. This can be used to avoid limits on the number of regions and use of effects and synths. Users can also add WAVE and SMF files from the SD card or from USB storage. WAVE and standard MIDI files, SMF files, on the SD card or USB storage can also be added as new regions. Well, my friends, that's a wrap. If you like this presentation, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new presentations coming out every seven to 14 days and we would love to have you be a part of our team. Also leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think about this presentation and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. Also, while you're here, listen to some of the music and check out some of the other videos. Let us know what you think about that too. Also check out the playlist because they're designed just for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.